Dinner, please. Dinner with peas in a sesame soy glaze. This is not working at all. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Sucharita. I'm here from India on behalf of PBR Inox. That's the largest cinema chain in the country. Great. Yes. Saw the movie last night. Really fun. First question, Mike. When you're making a film like Kung Fu Panda, which is such a popular franchise, um, it's made money. Does all of Hollywood want to be a part of it when you're coming yeah. back after eight years? Yeah. You spoiled great. for choice. It's great. It's, it was a good problem to have. We we took so long to get to the theaters, eight years, because we wanted to make sure we had the perfect story to tell. Yeah. We didn't just want to make another one. We wanted this to be the next evolution of Jack Black playing Poe and, uh, and uh, put everything we could in it. And then um, once we decided on that story, it became very easy for me because we had a lot of artists that worked on all of them. Yeah. From Kung Fu Panda 1 to now, but then we also had a whole group of new artists and some of them were kids watching the first one in the theater that now we're getting to animate the Kung Fu Panda and they had tears in their eyes. Oh. They were so happy to be working on Kung Fu Panda and giving it their all. So it was really a great experience. Now behind all the nice colors and the flashes and everything, there are very serious actors who are involved yeah. in these ones. Like Viola Davis joins the cast, Brian Cranston's of course in it. Gary Oldman was a part at one point. Yep. Um, is it one of those projects where everyone's like really desperate to get greenlit so they can really like get away from the serious stuff they're doing and have fun in the recording studio? I think so and they do <laughs> have fun. And that's something I wanted to say about Aquafina and yeah. Jack. I'm sure you met Jack Black. Yes, just did. So they are so funny that I don't think people recognize that they are also really terrific actors making very interesting choices sure. and digging deep into their characters. And they're so funny. I don't think we recognize that. But that's something that I learned uh, from Jack on this one. And I'm like, wow, you really getting into this. You're a serious actor. So yes, accomplished actors who want to be funny. And I think funny actors who want to really get serious and maybe have some heart as well. I think everyone's just waiting for their phone to be like, all right, it's green, yeah. let's go, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. Uh, uh, the action in this one is better than all the other Kung Fu Panda movies that have come before, especially Poe's opening sequence when he's fighting a literal stingray. So talk to me a little bit about um, going crazy on the action with this one. Well, uh, it was interesting because uh, we, for the first time ever, uh, we hired uh, live action uh, stunt choreographers. Mm. And they came in and they videotaped themselves doing a whole bunch of moves and using uh, authentic weapons because uh, Poe has the Staff of Wisdom that he got from the last film, from Ugwe. So we got to uh, have our stunt coordin coordinators use those. And in fact, some of them attached uh, foxtails to the back of them so we could the animators could watch the tails move okay. around as they did their kung fu moves. Yeah. And not only has technology evolved, but kung fu fighting has evolved too. And so we got to uh, take all those advancements and show that footage to our animators and put it all in the film. It was a blast. The thing about making movies for children, and you know a thing or two about that, is they have to be parent approved as well, right? What are you really telling my children? Because especially with a character like Poe, if my nieces are watching Poe, they're believing everything he's saying because they just love him yeah. so much. Um, is there an additional sense of responsibility when you're writing specifically and creating a movie for children? Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you, we create the movie for everyone. Yeah kids and adults. And a lot of that is just, we make sure we really hone in on a theme we believe in. And in this one, it's about change. And I think that's something that kids could relate to because they go from grade school to junior high to high school. They're going through changes. It can be very scary. Adults, it can be very scary for us moving from one job to the next or maybe changing from one home to another home, uh, moving locations. And so we really wanted to dig into that theme and say, uh, if there is change in life, you're not losing who you were, you're just building upon who you were and becoming something even, even better. So again, we want this to appeal to everyone. And that's the way we look at it. Why must everyone go watch it on a big screen? Oh, well, uh, because we really made this for the big screen. We put everything into the visuals. We got uh, all the greatest technology to make it the furriest, kung fuiest movie we could do. And then furthermore, with the sound design, the mix, the score by Hans Zimmer and Steven is just spectacular. So we really design it to be seen on the big screen. So I hope everyone sees it opening weekend. And by the way, thank you for getting everyone excited to see it in a theater. That's really important. Like there's 500 people that work on this film. Yeah. It's really important to us. Yeah. Hans Zimmer, you have to go watch a Hans Zimmer movie in a big theater. You can't not see, yeah. Han, you can't not hear Hans, Hans Zimmer. Zimmer on the Dolby surround sound. By the way, not to mention Jack uh, and uh, Kyle, Tenacious D, they did a song at the end of this, Britney yes. Spears song. That's right. And I don't know if you noticed, 
we sent that song to London and Hans Zimmer got his 80 piece orchestra and they added, they weaved in Poe's Kung Fu Panda theme into it. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Britney Spears even, ex Hans Zimmer, that's so Britney great. Spears done by Tenacious D with Hans Zimmer. I, I, it's just incredible. You're doing yourself a disservice if you don't go to a movie theater and watch it. Y exactly. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me today, Mike. I had a great time watching the movie last night. Great, thank you thank so you. much.